Did you always want to go to the shooting range, but the government won't let you have a gun? No worries, I'm Josh 13 and I have the solution. Gun Club VR is a game that was released way back in 2018 on the PlayStation VR 1. And I must say, I bought it because there weren't many shooters back then. And I know someone who goes to a shooting range, so I thought it would be fun giving him a moving target. It's too bad he quickly gets sick while playing VR. Also, I was curious how good my aim will be in VR. I was not too bad, but practice now could be handy in the future. There are different modes in Gun Club VR. These include Zombie, Time, Target and Action Mode. Basically, it's a glorified shooting range, what can be a dream for some. While shooting your target in action, you will encounter hostages, which you need to shoot around to kill the hostile. What makes the game challenging by itself? There are levels as well that range from mid to high to low. Besides this, there are also pieces of fruit to keep an eye out for. This will give you bonus money. With the money, you can buy new weapons and upgrades. If you think this game can be addictive, leave a like. And when you like this video, think about subscribing. Like I said, I have this game from the time from the PlayStation VR 1. I was not sold for the first couple of minutes of playing. The only thing I did was shoot wooden targets. But the game can get highly addictive if you want to get that platinum. For me, shooting with the handguns was the most fun I can have in this game. Playing on medium really made me feel like John Wick. You can finish a challenge in 10 seconds on 100% pretty easily. Every shooter does something different in their reloads. But this is a first for me that you use the right joystick to eject your clip. When you get the hang of it, it works pretty well. The weapons do have their own reloads. When you're playing action mode, you can press X to teleport to the next highlighted area. You can also smooth walk if you prefer this. There's also an option to play this with a stock if you have one of those. Something that stood out to me was the haptic feedback with the handgun equipped with the silencer, the MK23. The gun felt really heavy and it felt way different. Something that kept bothering me was the weapon grips. They were hard to find and almost preferred using rifles one handed. Also, my hand did float off often when trying to hold my handgun two handed. The sound is what I think you can expect from an army slash shooting range. The dialogue helps you when you need to reload and try to motivate you. As far as I hear, the weapons do have their own sound, but won't hurt rating of Gun Club VR. The only bad sound I could find was probably the exploding sounds, but then I'm being nitpicky. For the graphics, the weapons look great. They also did a good job with the smaller scopes. The larger scopes they did something else with. They project an image on the lens, but it switches when you bring it to your face. It turns to a real-time image. There's also no real people that shoot at you, what I did not like at the start. But as the game progresses, I start finding it less. The cutout boards did not look bad, and I did think they improved the graphics from the PlayStation VR 1. But the magic in Gun Club VR is the variety of weapons. I would give this game an 8 out of 10. For what the game is, I really enjoyed playing Gun Club VR. It really makes me feel like a badass with a gun. In real life, the gun will probably smack me in the face because of the recoil. But in a safe environment of my home in VR, this game can be addictive. What I did not expect to happen. I'm not a fan of the wooden cutouts, but the gameplay is solid. I was intended giving it a 7, but there's so many weapons to play around with, I bumped it up to an 8. Make sure you check out one of my reviews if you'd like to know what I think of a game. Thank you for those who have subscribed.